Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our uh, Toyota Verso. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, no, I haven't joined the village people. I'm just having an unbelievable amount of trouble with these road microphones and they're all wired up in this vest. It's like a, it's like a, a suicide vest. So you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> no sulky comments. <laughs> It's a Verso S 1.33 T-Spirit 5-door, 2012 on a 12 plate. Has a pan roof, it's done 50,127 miles. It's a manual car. The MOT is until the 21st of the 9th, 2021. Fuel economy, urban, 41.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 58.9 miles per gallon. And combined is 51.4 miles per gallon has a 0 to 60 time of 13.3 seconds, a top speed of 105 miles per hour out of a 99 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. Road tax is uh, pretty good too, six months, 68 pounds 75, and 12 is 125 pounds. Service history, 24th of the 5th, 2013, at 4,929 miles, that was Vantage Toyota Preston. The 14th of the 11th, 2013, at 7,271 miles, Vantage Toyota Preston. 29th of the 12th, 2014, at 10,882 miles, Vantage Toyota Preston. 29th of the 12th, 2015, at 14,461 miles, Vantage Toyota Preston. 5th of the 6th, 2018, 31,002 miles at Charnock Motors Preston. The 4th of the 2nd, 2020, at 44,150 miles, Charnock Motors Preston. So a real good service history, very, very nice car too. To be honest, the more cars I see like this um, with standard equipment, the more I like it, less to go wrong. Um, cars are just getting stupidly complicated these days. So uh, if I had my way, I'd concentrate on stuff like this. So we've got the uh, Chrome Toyota grill there, deep spoiler at the front and, and kind of squared off headlamps there um twin uh, sorry five twin spoke alloys and that's not five wheels it's five spokes we've got the black window surrounds the full glass panoramic roof rear privacy glass on the top here we have the integrated tailgate spoiler rear wash wipe oops there we go also got a reversing camera there, which is very, very handy. So no reversing sensors, plenty of room at the back, split folding rear seats, the hard rear load cover and the nice flat loading area. So easy for a dog to get into if, if you need your pets to get in there. And easy to load luggage too. So we've got the uh, heavy duty mats in the back here as usual if you're an adult you've got to knock the rear headrest up but it's really really nice in here sat uh, it's the cinema or opera style seats were sat above the people in the front as you can see near the roof as well but you can see over the people in the front and you've got this lovely uh, glass panoramic roof in right the way right the length of the vehicle you've also got an electric switch on the front which brings this roller blind forward if it gets too hot in the back but it's a lovely day today and you, you know you can really appreciate the roof so let's see what we've got here it uh, foxed me for a bit I didn't know how it came down so a, a tiny rear center armrest at the back here you've got one of the seat belts pulls out of the roof, so we've got three inertia reel belts in the back here. Really, really tidy. Um, you wouldn't know anybody had sat in the back here. So I'll just take you for a ride in it. 1.4 engine. Um, the gearbox is fantastic, and it, it's it's really good fun to drive. So I'll, I'm looking forward to it around here anyway. So we've got the uh, two Toyota keys. One of them looks like it's never been used. Proper ignition lock. So let's go for a drive. Oops. 
Too busy looking at my microphone. Lovely part of the country, as I always say. So on the, on the way up here, I noticed it's a six-speed gearbox, and uh, to be honest, I thought it could do with a, a, a seventh uh, gear because uh, it's it's obviously just built for running around town or mostly around town. It's not unpleasant at, at speed, I, I've got to say, but it's it's more built for uh, as you'd expect, kind of commuting around town taking the kids to school and so on. But th there is bags of room. There's, I would say there's room for four adults. The, the back seats are a little low, kind of up, up your back, but uh, th there's plenty of room in it. And this roof, well, as a pan roof does in every car, it, it transforms it. It's so nice, light and airy, that uh, I've started bringing the cars out into the country and uh, it, you, can, you can really appreciate a blue sky not that the driver can look up much but certainly the passengers can and keep the kids amused instead of uh, playing beetle punch like I used to do with my sister in the car they can uh, perhaps play Cessna punch or something or even drone punch these days. I'm not advocating kids hitting each other either. It's just something we did when we were kids. Lovely to drive, as I say. It's got uh, electric door mirrors, electric windows, remote central locking. Um, actually, when I just get somewhere where people can see me when they come around corners. Like, like here, I'll just put that forward so you can see it. That's the electric blind coming over. So now we can see the screen here. And if I put that in reverse, there you go, you've got the reversing camera. I'll get that back quick, because it's... Uh, make the most of the sunny weather. The pheasant there. Gearbox really smooth. Lovely to drive, great steering. Nice seating position too, to be fair. Now we, uh, so we used to do 10 mile drives or test drives before we gave it to the workshop to uh, do a pre-sales check. Um, they're probably, now I've started coming here, they're probably more like 30 miles. So uh, the en engine's really up to temperature. I can hopefully spot most things this, I'm not sure. I think there might be a heat shield loose. Certain revs, certain gears, probably. Um, not the speed or gear you would drive in. You can notice it more going up these hills. I thought I could just pick up a, a, a little heat shield vibration or perhaps uh, one of the trays or something. Terrible gear change. But, um, oh dear. One of the things with this size engine and a manual gearbox is you do get to change gear more often. 
and I often uh, see reviews on other cars, you know, bigger cars, where they say it'll do 70 in second gear or 70 in first gear. Well, what's funny in that? You can only go 70, so you may as well have an automatic. But you, you can get to control the car with the, the gears. And it, and it helps when the gearbox is as pleasant to shift as this one is, like so. good heater in it, it's quite cold today. The suspension's good. The steering's, I'm gonna say the steering's brilliant. It's a nice car, tidy inside and out. Great value for money. Not too much to go wrong in it. Clutch is nice and light. Steering's light and precise. Just check the air con. So the air con's on, we'll turn it to cold, turn the fan up. Yeah, nice and cool. working too. Uh, CD radio, you've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming too. So uh, if you go onto media when it when it's switched on, I'll, I'll switch it on but turn it down. So as you can see there, that's on Bluetooth and it's playing a uh, audio book which is um, on my phone. And then, of course, you've got, uh, you can play music, whatever you want. Hey Siri, play music. No, it's not for doing that. That's, um, that's because, in fact, I'll pull over here, and I, I know what it is. It's because the screen of my phone has got the GoPro app opened. So uh, that kind of overrides it. So I'll just pull up in a second. Game where people can see me always difficult in the country here right I'm gone put my handbrake on it's in neutral foot off the pedals I've touched my phone yeah there, there you go it's uh, there's all sorts open there so um, let's see music you're all offline so what uh, oh gosh well, I'll not play that Not play that one. Go on, we'll play that. So there you go, it's playing music. Just turn it up. So that again is playing off my telephone, so Bluetooth audio streaming, it's going to go over a cattle grid now, we'll listen for that heat shield, no, I can, to be fair I couldn't hear it then so perhaps I was imagining it.
nice clear dashboard, analog displays, rev counter on the left, in the centre, nice big speedo, information panel at the bottom, then on the right hand side we have a um, fuel gauge, just pull up again because camera has stopped recording Wow GoPro start recording Jeepers that's something I'm gonna to have to watch out for they uh Obviously, the signal off that camera knocks all my GoPros off. Technology. And, it, and that's, that's the point I was making about cars before. Ghosts in the machine. All of a sudden, these ECUs, somebody will come up with an update, no doubt on your phone, and uh, it'll play havoc with the system. Give me the old cars. So everything's working as it should. The clock in the centre there, is there anything else? Your phone controls there, volume controls, mode control, switch channels. Lovely car. So I'll uh, finish the test drive shortly. I'm, uh, as I say, there's not a whole lot to, to say about the car as far as specification goes, but in my book, that's a plus. It's, it's got the it's got the things that you really need: Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, the pan roof. Electric windows and, and, and reversing camera. I mean, those are those are proper accessories that come in very handy. Six-speed box there. Good suspension. Irons out the bumps. Nice clear display and switches that you don't have to look at just do it from muscle memory the fan there not even looking you just remember where it is and these uh, these 1.4 engines with this six-speed gearbox on uh, roads like this, they are so much fun.
bird spotter there. A little bit uh, quieter going past there. Okay, so uh, we've very, very busy last week. Only got time to get out and video one vehicle. And uh, hopefully we'll have some more. We, we, we've sold quite a lot of stock. We will be moving shortly. And uh, no doubt the videos will uh, have to be put on hold while we're moving because we will be busy, a lot of stuff to move and find places for. We are going to try and declutter but uh, I don't know, <laughs> might need some help with that, I can't throw anything away. Anyway, I'll finish the test drive there. Thanks very much for watching, if it's been of any benefit uh, please give the video a like because it does help. We have we've had 20 million views, or well, actually more when you take into the, the account the smaller channels. Probably about 24 million views in in total, which is uh, incredible for a, a little garage from Walkley Dale. And we have 17,000 subscribers. Again, when you take the smaller channels that we have the radio channels, sat nav channel and so on. Um, probably, uh, well, 21,000 subscribers, I would imagine. So, thank you very much, and uh, see you in the next video. GoPro's stop recording.